Testing we are. What's up, guys? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. Guys, doing big things in your life. I got a fun little he played what? Wednesday, it's going to use two chords. I keep on jam here 12 years ago alicia key's song fallen has 263 million why can't she give me some of those views 263 million she's making bank on that one video guys i got the capo in the first fret it's gonna be a quick lesson they had a lot to it on this be honest with you on this one um i had a request for this one so thank you for so much for all the ones that put me give me a request on on my youtube there i mean on my uh, instagram all you're gonna do is a regular e minor which is going to use your middle finger and ring finger play the fifth and fourth string. So fifth string, second fret. Again, if you don't use the capo, it's no big deal. Um, I just put it on there first fret just to do it. And then the fourth. Uh, so boom, 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 boom. You're gonna do all down strums on this song. So it's. This is gonna be a little bit trickier chord. It's a B minor seven. I rarely, rarely, rarely ever use this one. I think I used this in that Usher tutorial I did. But all you're going to do is basically skip every other string. So go fifth string, second fret, skip the fourth. Third string, second fret, skip the second. So see how I did that? So this is going to challenge you beginners there to see if you can keep, if you can hit. It's here, it's really cool. The, those minor sevens have a really cool uh, harmonic sound to them, so. As I play this too. Notice how, so I'm going to start now with that E minor, for example. So, hear how, and you take this away for other songs too. As I'm changing that chord, I'm still hammering away on just the empty strings. You want to make note of that. Music's all about rhythm and timing, so it's E minor. See? So, this right hand, he's in a world of his own. He's just. You can just pop it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're just going down strums. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all you're doing. So the whole time you're going back and forth, E minor to B minor seven. Again, the B minor seven is fifth, third, and bottom. So. Sometimes I love. Keep on falling in and out of love with you. I did. See, I'm doing that. Take note of this also because this is good for future songs. A lot of times you see these great professionals and you think they're doing all this fancy stuff, whether it's Alicia Keys on the piano or even guitarist, and they're kind of doing the same riff over and over. So even if it's a very um, memorable tune or a little riff or whatever, it, it, it probably you probably think it's super complicated. But a lot of times it's just the same little. So again, if you're a beginner, take this super slow, but it's a great song to learn on. But notice again how, I'm telling you, this is so important with she had the best. song you're playing still strum away see who knew i was throwing a luke combs tutorial or a little jam there during alicia keys tutorial right but uh, y'all know i like to keep it fun here by the way guys please smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already i always forget to remind you remind you of that that's so important for the channel growth and that kind of stuff but again, guys, we're going to those two chords, the E minor, and then the B minor 7. Strum all six, both times. Sometimes I keep 
from. This is a great song for like, I might put this one in my party favorite songs. This is a great song that as soon as you start playing it, everybody in the room's gonna know, right? I keep on falling in and you see me do often try to like maybe while you're playing the E minor work on taking the finger off same thing with that when you maybe play that B minor 7 if you want to take that first finger on off that fifth string anything to kind of spice it up give what's called musical dimension that'll help you out It's a great exercise too. Maybe work on that palm mute when you take the outside of your hand and mute the strings. Kind of build up for that chorus or something because it makes it up. Gives the song, like I said, a little spice to it. Let's see if we start out. Um, sometimes I love you. Sometimes you make me blue. Sometimes I feel good. doing there is a string stop. See that? Y'all see how this, the, y'all see how, how, how rehearsed and stuff my lessons are. I just like to have a lot of fun, right? Um, like I said, somebody suggested this song. I was like, oh man, I forgot about that. It's a jam. So guys, if you haven't, he played What Wednesday. It's, what I mean by that is a non-country song that you'd like to see me teach. I read all your comments, try to reply to them as much as I can. So be sure to comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you'd like me to teach. I'll see if I can make it happen. Country or non-country, right? We'll see what we can do. Love you guys so much. Check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. All in word, countrysongteacher.com. And uh, get my songbooks, my DVDs, all that kind of stuff. And I would sure appreciate it. Till next time, see you, see you on the other side. Holla.